I put in a five inch layer of dirt, but the dirt's too dry. So I poured water on top of it. I compress it down a little bit, not entirely, just to uh, help the water soak in. Now I'll give it a few minutes to sit and uh, let the water migrate down a little bit. I might even have to put some more water on top and then I'll uh, compress it again. You can see in this third set that it's nowhere near the same quality as the other two. The rains have stopped, so my earth is an awful lot drier than it used to be. And I obviously need to mix more water into the uh, dirt before I ram it. Time to take the forms off and see how it looks. And yes, I lost the beard. It was getting a little bit uncomfortable. I'm just getting ready to start another set. And as you can see, I'm adding a lot of water to my dirt to get the moisture content up. The moisture content isn't high enough, the clay doesn't activate, and it doesn't stick together. I've had to add about 15 gallons of water to five wheelbarrow loads worth of dirt in order to get to the right levels. I need about 20 to 25 wheelbarrow loads to fill one of these forms. Let's get started. forms are off and I think I'm ready to draw some conclusions on this experiment. I've spent about seven days putting this together. I still have one section left in the back but I'm not going to do a video on it. It'll just be more of the same. I can't say I'm happy with this. Now for the amount of work I've spent, which is a lot, and the amount of pain involved with ramming earth, it's very hard on the tendons and on the joints, I'm not happy with how it's come out. Now, the material itself is quite dense, has a reasonably high compression strength, but it has no wear resistance at all. I can really rub it apart. I can't dent it, but I can scratch it right down very quickly and quite easily. And it's not particularly strong. You can see this foundation layer has started cracking and crumbling based on the pressure and the uh, impact from the second layer here. So if you're in a seismic area, and I am, this is likely to crumble under the next major earthquake in the area. Now that being said, it's a garden wall in the middle of the desert. It's doing its job. The rabbits aren't going to get through it, neither is the wind, and it'll still probably outlast my interest in the area. I could put a, a lime render on it to, uh, to make it last a bit longer, but I don't think I'm going to bother. Mixing water into the dirt is a very difficult task as well. It's not like mixing concrete where it becomes sort of a liquid gel that you can slop together. It's actually much more like trying to knead dough. It's not an easy task to do with a shovel. That's why I had to let it just sit. I would recommend if you're going to do this, bring along a rototiller. It would really make the job an awful lot easier. Another point to remember, these eight foot forms, these are eight feet by 30 inches, are just too heavy for one person to work. Make smaller forms, maybe six foot long. The 30 inches high is probably okay, but they're really heavy easy to injure yourself when, when moving them around or damage the wall sections as you take them on and off. In any case, I think I'm done with this experiment. 
and I will say this much if you have a very specific project maybe rammed earth is the thing to do but you're far better off spending an extra hundred and twenty dollars on cement and fifty dollars on rebar and uh, just doing it with stabilized rammed earth and having a product at the end that's gonna last for generations